Let's have a look at some of the human right violations that took place in India in 2019. Human right violations are widespread across the world. India is no exception to this. In fact, cases of human right violations came to the forefront every day in innumerable forms. Today, some of the major issues of human right violations in India include sexual harassment, rape, police custodial death and torture, mob lynching, arbitrary killing, communal and caste-based violence, violence against journalists to name a few. Here are some rape cases that hit the headlines. In February of 2019, a 5-year-old was abducted, raped and murdered by a man in Mahi, Mumbai. An engineering student was found raped and murdered. Her burnt body was found in Raichur, Karnataka on 16th April 2019. A woman in Rajasthan was gang raped and beaten up by her in-laws after her husband gave her a triple talaq on 22nd November 2019. A 26-year-old veterinary doctor from Telangana was raped, murdered, and burnt alive on 27th November 2019. All the four accused in the Telangana veterinary doctor's rape case were killed in a police encounter on 6 December 2019. A 6-year-old girl was raped and strangulated with a uniform belt by a drunk truck driver in Tong district of Bihar. On 2nd December 2019, the Unnao rape victim was attacked and burned alive on 5th December 2019 by the accused. She died on 6th December in Safdarjung Hospital, Delhi. Clean chit given to Nana Patekar in the sexual harassment allegation levied against him by Tanushri Datta. Moving to other headlines from 2019. Gautam Mondal, a physically challenged Dalit, was tortured and killed under police custody in West Bengal on 7th May 2019. On the suspicion of being involved in cow smuggling, Basir Ali, a 38-year-old daily wage laborer from Assam, was shot dead by the BSF on 15th May 2019. The BSF personnel shot and killed a 26-year-old Rabiul Sheikh on suspicion of illegal cattle trade with Bangladesh on 9 July 2019. A journalist was tortured by JRP officers in Uttar Pradesh Shamli on 11 June 2019. In March 2019, two young men, Tasleem Ansari and Gufran Alam, were brought to a police station in Bihar and were brutally tortured and killed. The triple talaq bill was passed in 2019 which made the practice of triple talaq an offence which is punishable by law. Children were served turmeric water with rice as a part of their midday meal in a school in the Sitapur district of Uttar Pradesh in October. In June 2019 there was an encephalitis outbreak in Mazafur district of Bihar which killed more than 100 children. India ranked 102nd out of 117 countries in the Global Hunger Index of 2019 with serious level of hunger. Peter in Bengal was beaten up and pushed off a train for not chanting Jai Shri Ram in June 2019. A mob trashed a 68-year-old Shaukat Ali on suspicion of selling beef on 7th April 2019 in Assam and forced him to eat pork. Dr. Payal Tadvi, a 26-year-old gynecologist from Mumbai belonging to the scheduled tribes, committed suicide in May 2019 due to the constant harassment by her colleagues on account of her caste. Clean chit given to two accused in Dr. Payal Tadvi's case. Tarbez Ansari was tied to a pole, beaten up and forced to chant Jai Shri Ram for hours by a mob in Jharkhand in suspicion of theft in June 2019. In Jammu and Kashmir a 52 year old Muslim man Naheem Ahmed Shah was shot dead by a group of cow vigilantes for cow smuggling in May 2019 The lifting of the special status for Jammu and Kashmir led to the complete lockout of the region with the imposition of curfew and a communication blackout in August 2019 which left the people helpless The lockdown in Kashmir in August also witnessed the detainment and harassment of three journalists. Two children killed in Madhya Pradesh for defecating in open. Parents alleged that the panchayat refused to build a toilet for everyone except them. 
As per an ITI query, 600 villages in Tamil Nadu still practice untouchability. 40% of India's population will not have access to drinking water by 2030. Government implemented Citizenship Amendment Act in direct violation of Article 14 and 15 of the Constitution. The CAA allows people belonging to the Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Jain, Pars, or Christian community from Afghanistan, Bangladesh, or Pakistan who have came to India on or before 31st December 2014 will not be considered illegal immigrants. They will be granted citizenship.